In order to stop the advance of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region, the Russian Ministry of Defense began recruiting civilians and training them in the basics of FPV drone control. Due to the lack of a regular army, the Russian Defense Ministry threw conscripts into the battle and began recruiting civilians into its ranks. It is known that all civilians who, at least, somehow understand how to operate a drone are sent to the territory of the Kalino airfield, the public attesh reports. In one of the large hangars on the airfield territory, the occupiers set up a training center for FPV drone operators. They are trained on boomerang drones. The Russian Ministry of Defense decided to form teams consisting of only two people, the drone operator himself and his assistant. A total of 10 hours were allocated for training, after which the newcomers began to form groups. In this way, the occupiers decided to at least somehow resist the military equipment of the Ukrainian armed forces, which is already on the territory of the Kursk region. Russian war correspondents write that the Ukrainian armed forces do not control the entire territory and in some areas, Ukrainian defenders are advancing in small groups without attempting to take control of any particular settlement. Russian war correspondents write that Ukrainian defenders are present in Malaya, Lokna, Martinovka, Bolshoi, Soldatskoy, and Cherkaskoy Porechnoy. At the same time, Putin's army allegedly repelled the attack of the Ukrainian armed forces in Korenevo. Z channels write that small armored vehicles of the Ukrainian armed forces are advancing deep into the Kursk region, bypassing fortifications without attempting to engage the enemy. Such tactics give the Ukrainian armed forces the opportunity to engage the occupiers in the area of a particular settlement and then, if necessary, quickly retreat back. Ukrainian forces are likely to use these small armored groups to conduct attacks across the line of contact due to the low density of Russian personnel in the border areas of Kursk Oblast. Larger Ukrainian units are reported to be operating in areas of Kursk Oblast closer to the international border and are reportedly consolidating and fortifying some positions. The Russian command is transferring militants from the private military company Wagner to the Kursk region of Russia to resist the Ukrainian armed forces. As Russian media indicate, the transfer of Wagner units was reported by war correspondent Yegor Guzenko. It is noted that he published a video with mercenaries signing it with the words, Did I say there would be good news? Well, here it is for you. Wagner group fighters are returning to Russia. I will tell you about further surprises soon. In the mentioned video, allegedly representatives of the PMC confirm that they are returning to the Russian Federation to the Kursk region. We'll be there soon. It'll be hot, but we'll have fire extinguishers, said one of the militants. At the same time as Baza writes, with reference to other Russian war correspondents, now the part of Tsudza, where the shooting battles are taking place, is under the control of Ukraine. Ukrainian formations have occupied the western half of Sudza. Now the line of combat contact runs along the dam area. It is a lowland through which a fairly small river Sudza flows, said war correspondent Mikhail Zinchenko. According to Zinchenko, this area is also defended by local militia units along with Russian military personnel. According to his colleague Yuri Kotenkov, most of Sudza is under the control of the Ukrainian military and tanks are present on the territory of this settlement. Russian blogger Yuri Podolyaka reports that Sudza is full of Ukrainian armed forces soldiers. Sudza is completely lost for us and it is a vital logistics hub and the enemy is trying to play this advantage. From Sudza, among other things, there is a road to the north to Lagov, along which he is also trying to advance, the blogger writes. According to some reports, the occupiers managed to stop the Ukrainian armed forces in the area of the workers' settlement of Korenevo. Intense fighting is taking place along the Loknia Nikol Sky Viktorovka Kruglenkoy line. According to the resource Before Everyone, well, almost. The Russian Defense Ministry claims that units of the North Group of troops, together with the FSB agencies, continue to destroy units of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Sudza and Koronevsky districts of the Kursk region, directly adjacent to the Russian-Ukrainian border.